In this essay, I will talk about the guidelines for essay number three, which is an argumentative essay. At the heart of this assignment, you need to choose a vahipana. Vahipana refers to a storied place in Hawaii. For this assignment, more broadly, vahipana includes any place that is storied, legendary, celebrated, and or recognized as a place of historic and cultural resources. Your hua, or purpose for this essay, is to learn about a sacred place to help bring more awareness to this place in hopes of preserving and protecting it for future generations. There are several vahipana in Hilo alone, so hopefully you won't have trouble finding a vahipana. The actual assignment, once you've chosen a place to write about, is to make a debatable point about the vahipana. So you will need to think beyond statements that are widely agreed upon or superficial, such as saying that the vahipana you choose to write about is important historically or that it needs to be protected. This really doesn't say enough about the vahipana. I really want you to try to dig deep here and write about something that's meaningful about this place that you choose to explore and write about. Also, please feel free to include any personal connections that you may have with the vahipana that you're writing about. An important note is that you will write your last paper, the research paper, using the same vahipana that you use for this assignment. For the research paper, you will expand this essay, number three, by adding more specific information which I will outline in the research paper assignment. In case you're having trouble getting started and finding a place to write about, I have a link to the Hawaiian collection in the Mo'okini Library, which is the library shared by UH Hilo and Hawaii Community College. Most of the sources in this collection are online. Uh, well, everything's online aside from the actual physical printed materials in the collection itself. So you don't have to go to Hilo, you don't have to be on Hawaii Island to access any of these online sources. Um, of particular importance or what could be particularly helpful getting started in finding a vahipana is the Hawaiian Legends Index. So if a place is referenced in a story or a mo'olelo like we looked at for essay number two, then you know it's a vahipana because it's a storied or um, legendary place. Going back to our, our guidelines, we're going to use MLA format. You want to write three to four pages minimally, and you need to include two source citations at minimum related to your vahipana um, and or the argument. For an example, if you find a mo'olelo or story that mentions your vahipana or is all about your vahipana, that is a type of source that you can use. Um, if you're writing about some kind of maybe sustainability related topic, then you could use a source that talks about sustainability. Uh, you could use a mele or a song or a chant related to the place. There are a lot of different options that you can use for sources. And then you want to include those sources in a works cited page at the end of the paper. And in a separate video, I talk more about using the Google Docs citation tool to generate works cited entries. And then there's a link to the rubric and turnitin.com. If you have any questions about this assignment, please let me know. I'm happy to help you get started with it. Mahalo.